Sorry, friends. My mic boom is slowly deteriorating. <laughs> Guy patches Fracta Fractanima Marshmallow Eleven Melodic Discord Con Crash Waldorf Marshmallow Eleven I think that's everyone who said hello thus far anyway. Um yeah <laughs> I'm using a CAD U thirty seven. So Sorry to my American friends, um, and it's funny that that came up in the chat almost immediately because my train of thought was that you were all probably going to be upset today and maybe not having the greatest day in the world. So uh, I didn't feel like writing today anyway. I'm already all set for um, I'm already all set for the class and teaching tomorrow. So. I figured I might as well stream for everyone. Rip United States politics and life and public and <laughs> no, I live in a bachelor apartment actually. This is the room. Like I have a bathroom and a kitchen, but uh, yeah, there's probably room in my building though. You'd have to go to my university uh, in order to actually gain access though. So yeah, that's pretty pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up. And a reflection of, yeah, many of the things that are wrong with the world today, that fully half of a, a country can, or almost half of a country can vote against its own best interests. Uh, it's remarkable to me. Remarkable. But yeah, so we're going to continue with our Soul Level 1, our Soul Level 1 playthrough. Uh, and so it's a good thing that you showed up, that guy patches, because, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the build here. Hi, how are you? I'm that guy patches. <laughs> I got a fancy hat. Um, I seem to recall that the last we left off, we got our butts kicked by the... This is you still indeed, friend. <laughs> Hooray! Um, yeah, we were getting our butts kicked by one of the, the Twin Sages. Um, I think we were actively watching the transformation of the movie Idiocracy from comedy to documentary. I think it was always sort of halfway between those two things. Melodic Discord, I believe you have. Um, so the next, the next stream we're going to do, um, that isn't Dark Souls, we're going to go back to Darkest Dungeon because... I have pretty much everyone at level six, and uh, I do want to start. I do want to start um, going into the darkest. Sorry, going into the darkest dungeon proper soon. Uh, but whomever, whoever died, if you're there for the next stream, we'll just make a second version of you. So interesting that these guys, these guys are actually called lycanthrope hunters, according to the guide. Wow, I need to remember how little HP I have. Um, hi, you got new to the stream. I assume this isn't replacing the YouTube playthrough. Um, no. No. No, no, no. Uh, what I'm actually... Part of the reason why I'm streaming today is that, uh, episode 6 of Let's Talk Lore is actually currently rendering. Um, it's been rendering for... So, if you're having a bad day, especially for my American friends, um, yeah, we're streaming for at least a couple hours, and then... Around 24 hours from now-ish, uh, the next episode of Let's Talk Lower will be up. And it's two and a half hours long, so... So yeah, definitely not not replacing Let's Talk Lore. Um, this is just... Casual lore chat. Oh! We were looking for this last time, and we couldn't see it. <laughs> two good things in the year 2016. Oh, no problem, uh, Thorn to tries again. Hello, uh, Zathenix. 
So we were looking for this last time, we didn't find it. Um, the other reason, in addition to dealing with the DLC... So will he aggro onto enemies, I wonder? Underestimated him there. Um, the other reason I'm doing this is, uh, yeah, later on. So we'll we'll start with this, but later on we're going to uh, certainly yeah, have much harder. What we're going to do is we're going to start with this, and then we're going to move over to a build that is much later in the game, and that is in uh, Arch Dragon Peak. My Black Iron Bob build. Because I'm going to be on uh, an upcoming episode of Bonfire Side Chat. So, uh, for the Arch Dragon Peak. And since it's going to be a while since we go there in Let's Talk Lore, I figured, yeah. Uh, we could just sort of walk through the area and look at some things and talk some lore and stuff. What up, Brindleson? Yeah, well, memes, the memes, I think, are part of the reason why he actually became president. Because everyone joked about it, no one actually talked seriously about how potentially disastrous his presidency would be. Uh, that That's always been the issue as far as I'm concerned. Like, everyone make blank great again, like, lol, it's so funny, but really, it, 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 yeah. Um, I'm not going to get too into it tonight, but... Hello, Virus of War and Shinobi. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. And if you're not, then, <laughs> yeah, hopefully this stream will help a little bit. Uh, these guys are called... Sage's Devotee or something? These guys are... Oh my god! So I'm really not doing well with the whole soul level one thing thus far. <laughs> oh no! A freaking like and throw puncher! Stop it! Be nice. There we go. What a time to be alive, especially if you're an international relations major like I am. International Affairs Major, wow. Alright, um, ah, oh, crud, you need to be embered to summon him, eh? Alright. So we're gonna summon him, then we're gonna run over to the Lycanthrope over there. Hello, the Memetim. They're weak to fire if that's an option. I think that is an option. Thank you. This one's got a hat on. These are the two that drop down on you if you go to the Lycanthrope. Oh, shite, I forgot about you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, friend. No, oh, no. No, the enemy is not aggroing onto him. Oh, or maybe he is. <gasps> yes! We did it. Uh, yes, uh, we're going to do everything. Eventually. Uh, it'll, this, this run will take quite some... Oh, no, I didn't want to jump there. This run will certainly take quite some time, but um, we will do everything eventually. Okay, friend, we're going to go... This way. Oh, that frame drop. Oh wait, I could totally invade you with my SL1. Uh, I'm not playing online, but I suppose I could. Uh, and provided that your SL1 only has, uh, I think, up to plus six. Hello, Aaron. Oh, Hodrick. If you just keep chugging, you're not gonna... That's not gonna work, Hodrick. I'll get the critical out now! 
I cannot believe he came back there. Yeah, he, yep. Um. <laughs> he just cast, um. He casted, what's it called? Uh. Power, power Within. F to kill small crabs. For some odd reason. Yeah, well. I'm definitely still too busy, but I just don't feel like writing today. And I was just saying that for for all my American friends, I figured they would be probably not having the greatest greatest day. What's up, Ricky Martin? Lore Hunter Argon? <laughs> Hello, uh, Shy Pit 101? Hondrick, you want to go? Let's go kill the, the Bash Brothers, friend. Oh. Yep. Let's make sure you're nice. Oh, he's got to heal up big time, though. Just stay in your warmth, friend. Stay in your warmth. Okay, we gotta, we gotta help him stay in the warmth. Over here. Yes, but it's not about necessarily whether they're unhappy, but the fact that they've, uh, the majority of that half voted against their own interests in doing so. Now they're going to be way harder off because of that decision. And so it's not about whether, like in this instance, because I know that half of the people who, there's no way that half of the people who watch my stuff voted for Trump. Like it's simply not possible given the demographics, but they will be unhappy soon, yeah. Where are the Bash Brothers? Did we already kill the Bash Brothers? Oh, we did! <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we can kill then. Turns out Clinton actually... T yeah, which is crazy. But Canada's... Um, like, Canada's electoral system is a little bit better, but it's still... Like, a government can have complete control with 40% of the vote. Because uh, first past the post is garbage, but... And that's a shield up there that we... That's the... the Either the ink... The eagle... Sh yeah, it's the eagle shield. Hopefully we can get him impeached. Trump is almost the worst version of Berlusconi. And he... Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a parallel I hadn't, hadn't even thought about. Silvio Berlusconi. Uh, they're both womanizing racist assholes. Pretty much. And, and filthy rich ones at that. As long as we don't go Weimar Republic. Yeah, I don't even know if those two things can be compared just because it's such a different era today. Too many historical discontinuities in the way. <laughs> this is a lot of fun, Hodrick. We should do this more often, friend. Hodrick, over here, buddy! I need your help! Oh, no! No! Hodrick, friend! Friend! Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna just make a run for the boss, because that's pretty interesting. Do you get anything for actually killing him? See, so, yeah, maybe we should try to kill him first. A goner of a store. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh darn it. Oh! I think you have to kill him in all the locations he shows up to get something from him. Okay. Oh gosh darn it.
Gosh darn it. Die, will you faster? Thank you. Yeah, loads of people wanted to come to Canada. Uh, loads of people who also don't really, who think it's far easier than it actually is to become a Canadian citizen, but it's interesting. Touche, Melonic Discord. Thank you. Do we have firebombs? We have 20. We need to get patches soon so that we can get, um, yeah. Alright, we're going to be dishonorable here. Oh, crack, I was too quick. Oh yeah, I can't buff this weapon, duh. Rip. Rip. We're gonna waste all of our embers on friggin' Hodrick, of all people. That's crazy. Yeah, so just like... That is fascinating. No dog behind me. Or somewhere. So these these guys are very obviously cursed. In the same way that, yeah, the Pulse of Man is. Because, yeah, it completely debilitates them. Thank you, Milan Discord, for pointing that out. How do I avoid all these elec election memes? Uh, hang out here, I guess. Don't or don't internet, yeah. Um... Gotta, gotta cleanse the bastard's curse, you know? Okay, this time let's actually get ready before... I don't know whether I want to try and use the enemies. Like, because I thought that giant crab would kill him for sure. Maybe we should take him down to the swamp. He'll poison himself. <laughs> Let's take him down to the uh, the lower swamp. Yeah, the amazing chest. Oh shit! Amazing chest. The head messages are pretty bad though. Like, is this just not not even clever in the slightest? Excuse me. Down here, buddy. <laughs> so fancy with your weapon arts. What are you doing? Oh, shite. Yeah, she is... Uh, she is a child. She's like eight years old. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really fucking... Yeah, touche, Zombie King. Hello, by the way, if I've not already said hello. Okay, we're aggroing all the enemies in the area, pretty much. Where are you at, Hodrick? Where are you at, buddy? These things are probably weak to fire, too. No! Hodrick friend. Oh, there he is. Yes! He's helping out. Ooh. You're cornered, Hodrick, buddy. What are you going to do? Power with him? Come into the light. <laughs> he keeps trying to aggro onto me and then he starts walking over here and then he just yeah, re aggros onto them. Oh you're out of 
Justice! Rep! Yes! Lycanthrope Hunters! <laughs> Thank you, friends. Well... <laughs> Hope you're all doing okay. Hope you're doing okay as well, friend. Oh, that was hilarious. They went full Hondrick. Alright. So th that's the first time I've ever even summoned him there. Pro strats. I don't know if it's pro strats as much as it is just... <laughs> not wanting to die to him over and over again. You got... Uh, I, I, I didn't mean initially to aggro all the enemies in the area, but once I started doing it, I was like, why the heck not? See if we can do it this time. Thank you, Melodic Discord, I forgot about that. Let's top up. No, oh, damn you. Oh, there you go! As soon as I saw him, he friggin' destroyed me. Anyone else love the Drake Blood set? It's so good for Fashion Souls with an historic greatsword. I do love the Drake Blood set. And that's one of the things that... Uh, hello, by the way, Magic Jack and Vegan Zombie. Um, what does everyone think about the Drake Blood Knights in the Arch Dragon Peak? Just because, yeah, it's... Because it was said in Dark Souls 2 that the Drake Bloods, I think that they venerated the blood of dragons. And they followed... Where am I going? Wrong way. They followed Sir Yorg to the sunken city. Shelva, the sunken city. And... Yeah, I got trapped there when the poison... The poison was ejected, and in Dark Souls 3, they are summoned by the Bell Serpents, the Bell Lady Serpents, uh, who are themselves very interesting in that, for whatever reason, they, I think that the guide just refers to them as Man Serpents. But yeah, I'll, I'll continue this train of thought afterwards, but I'm interested in hearing everyone's thoughts on that. Shouldn't have survived that. Oh. <laughs> Not a good start. I feel like it's going to be here. Nope. Nope. Wrong guy. He's over there. No, oh, that's the real one. Oh no!
damn it. Interesting, Marshmallow. I am indeed a fan of Elder Scrolls. Very much so. Uh, I got the, the remastered edition of Skyrim, uh, but I've not really played it yet. Thank you, everyone. I think it's interesting they made the switch from killing dragons in mass to worshipping them and using drakes in battle. Maybe some of the Drake Blood Knights escaped and went to Arch Dragon Peak. Uh, well, it's not necessarily because you think about the DLC. We went to the DLC and we picked up the Drake Blood set. So in the same way that Astora doesn't really exist anymore, but we find we find an Astora set in the game, um, it could just be passed on. And so right here, everyone, that's the deep. Our first glimpse of the deep. And you can see it looks kind of like a sludge. And a considerable portion of the episode of Let's Talk Lord is going to be out tomorrow is, yeah, spent talking about the deep and reading comments about the deep. How does everyone feel about From Software being on the list of... I don't think being on a list of third-party developers means anything until, until they actually release games. Because I'm pretty sure when the, the Wii U came out, uh, there were a bunch of developers there that either, you know, just released one game or just sort of, you know, didn't really release anything. And so, yeah, so there's this crystal lizard here, which leads you over here. That does look like a hidden path. <laughs> well played. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think this path here is meant to just basically bring you to look at the deep. Because there's really nothing else over here to look at. And they, they actually put two crystal lizards there to make you do that. So that's really clever. Sad we'll probably never know more about the deep. Well, what I, what I said in, yeah, the Let's Talk Lore episode that will be out tomorrow... Uh, is that it'd be amazing if the next DLC took place, you know, in the deep. That would be incredible. For some reason, I doubt it, because I don't think... You know, my, my, def oh, we're, my default position on all this is that... Oh, there's two of you, I forgot. Is that uh, whenever I try to prick things, FromSoft usually makes me look silly. But that that would be something that'd be really cool. I just wanted to make sure we didn't miss anything on the main path here. Sorry about that. I meant to mute my, my phone. Oh, friends, no! This is going to be interesting. We could just run by. <laughs> but... Buried one, but wow, they even come into the boss room too. Wow. Oh, and that was my chance, and I missed it. <laughs> this is very can summon Hondrick again. See now that now they're uh, that one guy's chaining. Oh, or at least he was. Yes, there we go. Oh no, I needed to two-hand it. That was all deep damage there. Okay, wrecked. No, I did it again. I did it again. Well, 
we did it. The next DLC is going to be the Sable Church. We need more Velka lore. Well, I, I think the medium shields aren't too bad. I actually find it much more much more fun to parry with medium shields, just because it's harder. But what do you think of the idea that the painted world of Ariana is somehow escaping the painting, and that is why the land below and Orlando, and by extension, and Orlando itself, are cold and devoid of the sun that we saw in Dark Souls 1. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting idea, but I don't fully understand what you're saying. That the painter is somehow escaping the painting. How can the painting escape itself? I'm not sure what that means. Can you talk about the origins of the profane flame? I could, but I don't really know anything about it. So maybe that's something we'll look at in the next... the next casual lore chat. Ah, oh, again, I again. I'm only getting deep damage on that. Yeah, because we, we would have to go there and read item descriptions and stuff, and uh, I'm not really prepared to do that today, just because we have other things to talk about. But, but that is... Uh, Inception. It's Grandma. So she just killed, presumably, a Herald. Steel armor with a pure white cape, the signature of Heralds of the Way of White. Protection made steel made of steel has excellent physical absorption, but is found lacking against blunt strikes and lightning damage. The Kath and Framp statues just make me laugh more than anything else. Um, let's define Herald. An official messenger bringing news. A person or thing viewed as a sign of, that something is about to happen. So an official messenger bringing news. So this is someone, presumably from the Way of White, who was delivering news to someone. And, yeah was obliterated by an evangelist and possibly the two hollow man servants. Is Velka still important in the game's timeline? I think Velka is important. Yorshka had to come from somewhere, didn't she? Yeah, well... Um, she could be the child of... of two other people that we know. She doesn't necessarily need to be... Yeah. So the paladin ashes over here. Oh, and this guy rolls like crazy. I think he has infinite stamina, too. Oh, I can't bury that. It's really too bad that you need to level up in order to get the Dark Sigils. Because we don't have access to um, Poison Throwing Knives. Oh no. So he doesn't have an Estus Flask, I don't think. Yeah, he doesn't heal, or at least I don't think he does. Oh, much too early. I gotta be careful I don't aggro the brigand. Oh, that delayed attack. Stop all your throwing knives, mister! You can play that game, although yours hurt a lot more than mine do. Oh, he stopped blocking. That was pathetic. Oh. FromSoft really made every piece of equip equipment viable for most players. Balance is good, in my opinion. Aegon, are you going to have Regrave on Let's Talk Lore to trigger people? I don't know what you mean by trigger people. 
Um, but yes, Redgrave will be on Let's Talk Lore at some point. Oh, sorry. Yeah, someone was saying earlier that Yorshka is a good painter. Um, so that's the paint. That's a painting I did when I was like seven years old. The one behind my mic there. It's called uh, the Moon with No Stars. <laughs> and yeah, so she's definitely a good painter, at least compared to me. And sorry, the wire on this thing drives me bananas. Because you can put you put it in one spot and then it immediately like tugs to another. All right, what's up, Paragon DS? I hope you're doing well, friend. Alright. I'm terrible at pairing now, but Dark Souls 1... I'm still... I went back and I played a little bit of Dark Souls 2 yesterday, because uh, we went to... In Let's Talk Lore, we went to the... Um, we went to the World of Sacrifices, and we, we came to contact with What's-Her-Face, the... Um, the woman with the... Because she doesn't even have a name in this game. That's the thing. In the guide, you should summon people even though it's technically cheating. <laughs> um, maybe. Maybe. Maybe later. We'll see. Um, yeah, so uh, there's Melinda the Butcher in Dark Souls 2. And in Dark Souls 1, it's... Oh, what is her name? Maneater Mildred. Maneater Mildred. Um, so, yeah, I went back to play Dark Souls 2 because Melinda the Butcher in Dark Souls 2 invades in the gutter, but in a spot where I, I basically never went. So, yeah, I had to spend a while in Dark Souls 2, and I don't even remember where the heck was I going with this. Something about Dark Souls 2. Um, oh, but parrying, parrying, that's right. Um, and yeah, just playing Dark Souls 2 for like an hour, I'm, I, I was impressed with how I was actually still pretty decent at parrying. It's a very weird parrying... Whoa, you're still alive! I thought I killed you for some reason. It's a very different parrying system than the other games, but... No, shit! Don't know if you managed to catch my Families of Ariandel video. If you did, I'd love to hear your input. I have not checked it out yet, but I do intend to. Because, yeah, I know... Uh, cause I, I, I believe it said in, like, the first line of the video description... Something to the effect of... Ah, I don't do lore videos often. And I was like, yeah, he doesn't. So I make sure I check that out. So... And yeah, the families and how everything comes together and the Frida Elfrida thing are all things I was confused about during my blind playthrough, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Hello, Hurry Polo. Alright, I don't know if we're going to even bother with these guys. So there's a shield up there. It's the... One of the crest shields. I can't remember which one. Is it development? Oh no, we are online. I thought we were playing offline for some reason. I hate waiting for feedback from the lore community. You're wrong. Well, no, that's that's not how we that's not how we do things here. It's never wrong or right. It's just you know we all have different ideas that um, different perspectives, and you know mash them all together, and we I think we get a much richer much richer picture of uh, the story in these games when we do it cooperatively as opposed to competitively. I missed the baller swag sword. I only had it once, but yeah, all my saves got wiped out. Oh, it's just the, the basic crest shield. Alright. Screw you, brigand. 
You're gonna try and rob me. I hate this area too, so we're just gonna run through it. Screw it. JSF and Cassid have posited in their Discussing Dark Souls 3 series that <laughs> I love how enemies, so many enemies that can't hurt you if you just don't look at them. They're all like Slender Man. Um, they posited that because there's no mid-area fog gates anymore, that some of these like corridor spots where you just have to run through are meant to load the upcoming area. Hello, Fiery Phoenix. No! Gotta <laughs> light the bonfire! Oh no! God damn it! Stupid dog! Screw you, dog. I always get the Baldur swi a Swag Sword when I'm not trying for it, but yeah, yep, that's the way it goes. Um, still can't believe you used the most useless infusion to kill Elfrida. You mean bleed? I actually love the thought of people collaborating theories instead of contesting them. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's generally something that I feel you know, because because there's there's enough viewership and and stuff like that to go around. So yeah, I don't see why people do conceive of it so competitively. So I I guess because money's involved to some degree, but. Still don't get why Dark Souls 3 has bonfires so close where there's no enemies in between. Because... Ah, merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. I've been saying Ariandel. It's Ariandel? Uh, 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 yep. Uh, 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 <laughs> so was this patch of blood always here? Or is that new? Um, bleed infusion is pretty bad. Interesting. Well... I didn't know that, but I did it. I just feel it makes them less special than previous games. Oh, the bonfires, yeah. So, uh, the reason for that is that the the game initially had a mechanic in it where you you take the you take a coiled sword and you put the bonfire wherever you want in each area. And I think each boss was going to have a coiled sword in the same way that um, Gunder did. Uh, whether you pull it out of them or not is, is was certainly an open question, but I think questions like that are probably related to, um, wait, where the hell did our souls go? Oh, shite, we better go back and get those, because those were, that was a lot of souls. Not that we can level up, but, but yeah, so you used to be able to create your own bonfires, and so the reason why the bonfires are so close together is that they seem to have taken the approaches from several of the previous games and just mashed them all together because they didn't know what to do. Um, presumably they were, you know, at a point where they were trying to uh, get the game out. And yeah, for whatever reason the mechanic just wasn't working, so they replaced it with one that isn't, you know, as, as others have pointed out, it's not great. But the cold sword was actually going to replace dried fingers. When you made the bonfire, it opened your world up to more invader dudes. Interesting. See, that's what I mean. That's what I was really excited about, was the, the possibility for the different ways you could introduce that mechanic and, and mechanics that you can have in addition to that. Um, such that I think one suggestion I remember hearing was that you'd be able to, I don't know where the heck my souls are, was that the closer the bonfire is to the boss, the harder or the the easier or the harder the boss gets or something like that. So if you just take the bonfire and put it like right outside the boss, then right outside the fog gate, then the boss would be like ridiculously hard. I still I still got got that feeling though when I was going through. Yeah, I don't remember where we died last. 
Because, yeah, we had like 6,000 souls from defeating the Twin Sages. Oh, well. Whoops. Do you think there are any links between Yorsha and Ocelot? I mean, Ocelot was taken away being a dragon child and ended up under Gwendolyn's protection where he renamed her. Possibly? Hello, by the way. Awesome MC Awesome. <laughs> I'll just call you Awesome. I'll just call you MC Awesome if that's alright. Any links between Yorsha and Ocelot? Maybe? But yeah, um, well, because Marsh Marshmallow, because she is, you know, she's part of what, uh, that with two ashes, it makes fire, right? And so she was going to be, she was central to the plan to basically um, burn away the rot on the, uh, that was affecting the painted world. Oh, wait, on. I have a theory about Pontiff, which I'm not sure anyone has talked about. I'm not sure. Well, feel free to share it, friend. I think a lot of us confuse the games getting easier, and we are just more skilled at... Yeah, that's that's a very valid point, Zombie King. Shush, friend, we're not going to the DLC yet. Like, maybe, maybe we'll just get it. Uh, no, we'll leave it, because we're not going to fully talk about that right now. We gotta go to Arch Dragon Peak next, but first let's let's run through the area because I don't have the slightest clue, the faintest clue where the heck my <laughs> I dropped my souls. Yeah, and that's that's part of what you know people saying that this game is less replayable. He's not there yet. Is that I don't think it's necessarily that the the games are getting less playable or less replayable, as much as it is maybe, yeah, maybe everyone sort of souls out at this point. Um, certainly that's a factor, I think. Hey, you've been watching a lot of your playthroughs on YouTube lately. They're awesome. They're awesome. Well, thank you, Coffee Bomb. Um, thank you for joining us, and I appreciate you saying that very much. Um, I do want to talk about this place soon. So this would, would seem to be where Honoring Horus looted looted their gear. Um, but Honoring didn't want the great sword. She took the the just the Astora sword. And the grave that Horus dug up is bound to be around here somewhere too. I kind of theorize that her mother was. Oh, okay. Sorry, this is a bad spot for me to read chat, just because, unless, what is this guy doing? Is it just practicing his DJ skills? It's like, I remember when I used to have my hands on the turntables. <laughs> Are you petting a cat? At first I thought maybe he was um like picking picking the moss off the rock or something, but um that her mother was the wife or of the mad spirit pyromancer who I assume is the person depicted on that odd statue in the boss room. So that might be it. One of the item descriptions did state that he gave his diseased wife his fire or some such thing. Sorry, I'd have to read the item description again. Uh, or he fed Priscilla to Aldrich. Oh, interesting. Uh, but Aldrich only can... Oh, interesting. It, in the Japanese text is what you're saying, Paragon DS. So just Gwendolyn then. He's practicing his underwater basket weaving technique. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so, so yes, yeah, so I think these are the two corpses they dug up here. And, oh no, this isn't good. I don't know how the heck they managed, given the trauma that they seem to have been through prior to that. No, shite! <laughs> What's funny, I, I thought about this the other day, that 
I say shite because it's not technically a swear word in Canada, but for my viewers in the UK, I hope you'll <laughs> you'll forgive my you'll forgive my profanity. Um, I watched a lot of Father Ted when I was growing up. Uh, one of my favorite shows ever. So, shite, feck, arse. I, I know all the all the British swear words. <laughs> Chris wore great shield. It's the pursuer's great shield. Was he called in Japanese undead hunter or something like that? Or hunter of undead? I say ours a lot. It's like uh my my little brother is now a lawyer, but before he was a lawyer he was just helping out at my dad's law office. Um and my dad had a um like visiting intern or something from Germany <laughs> and uh, yeah one of the things my little brother always did was he always said uh, his his way of doing that is Shiza and uh, she was having trouble with the photocopy or something and asked him for help and then he couldn't get it working he was like oh Shiza she's she just sort of looked at him like oh my gosh um, like you just swore in German and then he was like oh wow and he he realized what happened and so so he's like he's like he explained it to her and then she's like oh yeah it's like when in Germany we say fuck <laughs> that was so funny for some reason sorry I know we're just running through a lot of this stuff instead of talking about it but hard to talk lore in a soul level one build Oh no! I say Shiza a lot. They might have changed Profane Capital because City of Sin is Vegas in the States. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Aldrich, the consumer of Aegon. Interesting. And the Profane Capital. That is so interesting. Whoa, they hit each other there. Whoa, I didn't know, like, so they don't aggro onto them, necessarily, but they do hit each other. That's fascinating. I think I'm going towards the shortcut. Yes. My mom's a professor, and the exact same thing happened to her. She had some German students in one year. They were a gas. <laughs> That's funny. Vegas is more like city of bad decisions and poor food and stuffy gambling halls. I don't know if they, they've um, changed the laws because they did here in Niagara Falls, the, the casino that's uh, closest to me. They changed the laws so that you can't smoke inside of casinos because I remember like shortly after I first turned 19 and went to a casino, which is old enough to go to a casino in Canada. And just, even though back then I was a smoker, the, the overwhelming smoke everywhere. Actually, why didn't we sit at the bonfire? Let's go sit at the, sit at the bonfire. Not so much stuffy as it is smoke-filled, yeah. I've been there since I was 12 and I wasn't allowed to even look at anything. To Vegas? Interesting. I don't know how you wouldn't look at things when it's, yeah, like all the super bright lights and stuff. Um, actually, we've been going for an hour, so we're going to take a break shortly. I'm going to get up and stretch a little bit. Um, oh, shush you, mister. We're not going in the DLC yet, but we will soon. I will, of course, put on some tunes for y'all. Let me just see what we got here. There were cards of naked people all over the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, food it was is over salty and probably just like super high in calories because they want to keep you waiting. Um, waiting, or not waiting, uh, like sitting at the table for as long as possible without having to get up to eat. Sito uh, Kira, hello Aegon, first time I watch you live. I uh, love your work. Well, thank you. I love yours as well, friend. Um, Marsh. 
it, it is adorable. It is adorable. Hi, Mares. Uh, we've been going for an hour. We're going to take a break, but... Um, Mares, that is Micah, right? Hi, Micah. It was kind of funny in retrospect. It is pretty funny. Um, yeah, we've been going for an hour, but we're going to keep going. But for now, we're just going to take a break. Let me just find the right tune. Uh, so there's a game called Gimmick on the Famicom in Japan. It was never ported to the U.S. Um, I think it was Hudson Soft. Uh, they made like a special sound chip for it. And so this was the song Strange Memories of Death. It's an unused song, but it's on the cartridge. Um, and yeah, I'm just in love with this song. So we're going to start with this one, and then I'm going to just put it on shuffle. So be right back in five or ten minutes. Five to ten minutes.
Okay. Um, I'm thinking whether we want to continue or not. <laughs> um, Aegon, you aren't wearing Havel set on fall. <laughs> Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? I am Cyrus of the Sunless Realms, former servant of the Divinity. Duties we each bear, but one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Broadly speaking, Mares, um, neoliberalism refers to economic liberalism to disembedding the economy from politics from society um, of subordinating society to to the economy um, on a more philosophical level neoliberalism is the idea that we are all economic subjects in the sense that um, which Foucault described as homo economicus which is to say that we make decisions according to economic criteria above all else uh, which of course does not really describe any human being um, uh, maybe with few exceptions but uh, that we make social decisions with economic criteria which is yeah absurd so that's as as simply as I can put it did you check Lovelith and the Handmaiden after defeating Frida I did. I didn't check the Handmaiden on uh, in the playthrough, but I checked it afterwards. Aegon, where's your backup crew? Bagon, Sagon, Dagon, and Egon. Uh, good question. Hello, Scottish Pyro. All right, screw it. We're gonna go. Actually, we'll buy some supplies. We gotta trade in a flask, I think. Yep, two flasks. Which of the FromSoft games is hardest for you to decipher in story. Ah, well, Matt, just good to what me. I think the easiest ones for me are the ones that we um, is Bloodborne first and foremost because we did a whole Let's Talk lore on that. Hello, Daedalus. Um, so I don't know if it's so much that they're difficult as much as some we've covered in greater detail than others. At least that's what it is for me. This is true, Aaron. What are your thoughts on Kareem? Um, I don't really know all that much about Kareem. Um, we're going to have Mitch L. on Let's Talk Lore, because he spent a lot of time thinking about Kareem. And uh, about the likes of the likes of Irina and uh, Egon. Alright, no shards. And we need another three large titanite shards to... Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. Love to study your field. You mean STS? Well, you can, you can do that. It's just it goes by different... Different names in different places. In, in... Excuse me. Some places it's science studies, social studies of science. Um, science and society, science technology society. Science Technology Studies, <laughs> Science, yeah, it's all over the place, so, but they all refer broadly to the same field. Um, where are we going? Cleansing Chapel. I think me and Ashton Hall would love some more Velka <laughs> who's with us. I think I got Bloodborne figured out, except for ROM. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even really get ROM all that much myself. Hello, Shiny Jim. Maybe it works the same way as the transposing kiln, and he was trying to turn her soul into something. Or maybe he was just hollow and obsessed with getting souls. Also, the last playthrough, did you find it about the difference? Yeah, so one's like a more formal, formal title for her. Is that correct? Oh, hey, candidate. How's it going, friend? Uh, Luca Teal's my favorite from Dark Souls 2. What about you? Luca Teal is also my favorite. But it's spelled L U C A T I E L. <laughs> Look at Teal. It's where the Velka's religion was kicked out and replaced with the Way of White. I think, yeah, that, that there. I don't know if. It might be a little bit more complicated than that. I 
Are you are you from the states candidate? I don't remember. I'm really bad at detecting accents, so what do you guys want from me? <laughs> oh. Oh. You're Canadian. As am I, friend. Apologies to all my American... To anyone out there watching who's American, my condolences. A rip democracy. Guys, get out of the way! I'm not, I don't want... I'm so bad at traveling through this part. Stop it! Because I never know where to go, and then I get sidetracked by these friends who are not actually friends. And we already looted the whole area, so... That's definitely one one idea, Ricky M. That's probably the one that I'm most... I'm most sold on, and that, yeah, because the, the, the Moonside Lake is obviously uh, part of the Dreamlands. We enter through... Oh, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? We opened the shortcut. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. We opened the shortcut. Oh, but there's an... <sighs> we gotta go there anyway, because there's an undead bone shard there that we're missing, and I help any time will help us. So the idea is that the way of white worshipped her is reasonable. We kind of know what Velka is, though, but is... Velka's talisman, anything to go by. She's a corrupted god like Rosaria. So the idea that the way of white worshipped her is... Yeah, so thank you for... Because, yeah, I, I, I've said time and again, and I'll, I will continue to say that I don't really know all that much about Velka. I almost... on complete autopilot mode. And just just in case there's anyone on stream who hasn't seen this, uh, there's actually a statue of Velka that looks strikingly like Elfrida. Hey, Mares. Super trivial thing to point out, but are you aware that you and many, many other... Yeah, that it's Anri and not Onri. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, hello, Dead Sulfur, and I'm sorry about that, but... Um, yeah. It's Anri. But the, there is a real name, Onri, and it's pr pr pronounced Onri. At least as best as I can tell. I think it's an Indian name. Still need to play the new DLC. You still haven't played the new DLC. Well, there might be spoilers here, FYI. So, be mindful of that. The way, sounds. I agree. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like um, in Bloodborne, the is chalice I Z. It's it's pronounced I Z, but. The idea it came up in Bloodborne Let's Talk Lore that you could pronounce it eyes, but because of the ja original Japanese text, but that doesn't actually hold true. But I, I just continue calling it eyes just because it sounded so much better and it was a cool sort of, um, cool sort of, I guess, made up reference. So we're not. Oh! I was about to say we're not going to deal with the giant. No! But he's going to deal with us! <laughs> Good deal with us. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> so what I'm really waiting for is actually I think Yosaho I think Yosaho may have already may have already given the translation for this. So you also, in the, the text file that I've linked to in all the, the Let's Talk Lore episodes, uh, placed a link that uh, goes to a, a spreadsheet, which has everything just beautifully organized. I can search. And so we're looking for... Let's see what the translation is for Elfrida. So... Translate. 
the English description. Okay, hold on. I need to freeze this top row here. Sorry, everyone. Just because I'm very curious about this. So I can't see the chat for now, but so I hope you'll forgive me. Okay. So, Slave Knight Gale. Is that guy? Is that what it is in English? That's what it is in English, right? Slave Knight Gale, yeah. Father Ariandel and Sister Frida. Okay, that's just dialogue. Yeah, I don't think he's fully done with this yet. So. Oops, sorry about that. Follows. A.K.A. Talek, Magic Jack, Bacon Cloud, The Only Scott Ever, Watch Him Call It 2, Thorn Two Tries Again, Vegan Zombie. Thank you, all of you, very kindly, for the follows. And welcome to the Rant King Covenant. Much appreciated. So yeah, so it doesn't look like we have the, the Japanese translation for that stuff yet, but I'm sure Yosa Hope is working on it. Um, a German commentator on one of Aegon's vids said that Elfrida is just the full form in the name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's a more, it's a more, um, a more formal version of it. Because a lot of the, the names in the FromSoft games are, yeah, German. You know what, we're going to switch over to Black Iron Bob and we're going to go to Arch Dragon Peak. Surprised they were so blunt with the lore for Gwyn's firstborn, and and that I was so oblivious because he he kicked my butt for so long that yeah. Um, Black Iron Bob. <laughs> bam bam. <laughs> he's he's still like crying in a room because yeah, Frida basically um, broke his spear. <laughs> he's so upset. Oh man. I have to wonder at the elf part of, of Elfrida name because it suggests that there's something more than human about her, which is funny because of her black flame ability, which is all about humanity. No, I think it's just, yeah, a German thing. Are you opposed to a duel or two with chat? No, not at all. Yeah, you guys, yeah, maybe we'll do some PvP first. Let's do that, actually. That's a great idea. Um, I'm going to be soul level 120 character. Um, I'm gonna go to my Aegon of a Star build. 120. We're doing 120, or at least that's what my build is. So, whatever. Thank you, Gory. Hello to you as well, friend. I hope you're doing well. Happy you could join us. So, I have a level. Or at least I thought I had a level calculator here somewhere, but I don't think I do. So yeah, I'm going to be 120. Why does my internet have to be crap? I'm sorry about that uh, official GD Rose. Uh, I will be uploading it on YouTube uh, after the fact, so and uh, yeah, if you're just joining us, there's also the next episode of Let's Talk Lore is currently rendering. It's at 62%. It's been going for 11 hours and 15 minutes, and there's six and a half hours to go. Um, so yeah, so that's... With that new system, I, I stopped using the green screen thing. Um, so the password we're going to do is Rant King. So... Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll put that on the screen. Just one second. Any reasons on why Frida's eye is burnt? Good question. I think just in general, the general thing with her is that, yeah, she's the flame. 
She needs to see flame to become flame so that they can burn the rot away of the painted world of Ariandel. Message to spectators. So the password is going to be one word rant king, all lowercase. I'm just putting that, going to put that at the bottom of the screen. Because, yeah, I've, uh, I also put some PvP, PvP clips in in the next episode of Let's Talk Lore. The last, like, 15 minutes of comments are, are set to PvP uh, dual clips in the background. So, uh, yeah, I've been having a, a fair bit of fun with the arena. Honor duels. 104 should work, yeah. I, I think with the password it scales anyway, though. Undead match. Undead matches can only be played online. Why are we all flying? Okay. I'm going to quit and reload, and then we're going to search. Oh, you don't... Why don't you have the DLC? My thoughts is that she's another ashen one from a world consumed by dark instead of fire. Interesting. But the the multiverse is built into the game though. In that um Hodrick's quest line, he dies when you break the the floor of the boss room for the first time. Excuse me. All right, there we go. So password is going to be Rant King. One word. All lowercase. Let's do this, folks. Hmm. Actually, we should put on online ID instead of character name. Okay. Wasn't Carla supposed to be a fragment of Manus? It would seem that way. <laughs> Gotta change my fashion souls real quick. So if if we get a few more people, we can do like uh, free for all or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Very and and really really just helpful. Very helpful that um, Yosuho provides all that. Because that, that's a lot of work. Like, that is a lot of work. A lot of hours of work. And I say that as someone who puts a ton of work into my videos. But, yeah. It, it's really cool. Really cool. Um, just the, the community effort. Yeah, it blows me away sometimes. I only have the DLC online for... Yeah, see, I, w I wish it was cross-platform. That'd be great. That would really be great. All right, so we'll give us another couple of minutes. I'll, I'll quit and restart it. Because I did stand up. While Frida could still be from a separate world consumed by dark, we don't know how long she's actually been there. Plus, as we know of, Ashen Ones do not actually get old. Um, she could have been there for decades. This is true. Hi, Aegon, what would you make of Father Ariandel and his his purpose in the painting? Some descriptions say he's the restorer. Um, so, the word restorer in, as a title is, I think what hinges on that um in the sense that is he a restorer because he's trying to restore the painting from its rot or is he a restorer because he's orchestrating things such that such that the oh we got someone such that the you know two ashes will come together creating fire and thus burning the rot away Destroying the world and making room for the next one. What do we got here? 
Someone with some nice fashion soles. <laughs> Twiggy1197, who's this? I suck at this, don't laugh. Oh, it's Marshmallow. I'm Marshmallow. Let's do this. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I don't know anything about poise, because uh, I'm led to understand that they kind of fixed it, but I don't know how true that actually is. Oh, well done. GG. Keep in mind the small girl's worlds, or words. Supposedly Father Arendelle painted the world. She said that ones who are consumed by fire should not paint a world. Interesting. It's just made more no noticeable. It has to do with hyper armor. Okay, interesting. Gosh. The the my D-pad like clicks for some reason. I'm going to have to open it up and clean it. Great swords have been especially uh, have especially been affected if memory serves. I don't get poise either, just whatever. Get whatever looks good. That's that's generally what I do. How do I join matchmaking? Um have you been through the DLC? Can someone help uh, the Zombie King figure out? Uh, if you're, you can only join if you're on the PS4 as well. I miss Pam Pam. Make some trolling with him to cheer him up. Yeah, we can actually we can actually switch to Bam Bam. Um, but yeah, no, I gotta get uh, the Trash Man back back in business. Uh, Jawangwo. Oh, it's Brindleson. <laughs> oh, how did that miss you? Wrecked. <laughs> Good camp, Brindleson. Lova specifically uses the term paint a new vision, but he does, but not in Japanese. Have you discussed any theory about the painting around Frida, which shows her being on fire? Do you believe those to be herself dealing with the burden of not linking the fire, or foretelling of her linking the flame by a girl, or maybe even other cycles? I think more than anything, it's just symbolic of her being key to burning away the rot of the painting. Uh, that when the, when it goes into the third phase, it says, when there, were, when there were two ashes, fire alighteth, I think he says. Um, Ariandel says. So, let's do... Excuse me. Let's see if we have enough people to do... 2 versus 2. So, yeah, go to go to the 2 versus 2. Or 6-man brawl. Okay, we'll, we'll change it to 6-man... Oh! No, it's still just me. It's such a weird way remaining of putting it. So long. Let's cancel that. Okay, let's see. Can we do a four-person brawl to start? Yeah. We'll start there and see if we have enough people for that. Four-person brawl. Hold on, I gotta grab some water. But yeah, I believe in the, the original Japanese text. It says to change that vision or to change that, that scene. Change that scene is, I believe, what it says. 
I, I think I imagine we will, because otherwise, why would it even have that as an option? That that confused me. Her being an ashes in a theory, yeah, it's that's it's stated outright. The password is Rant King, one word, all lowercase. Aren't Ariandel and Frida one person at that point in the fight? I think Ariandel would be referring to the player character. Brindle San. Oh my gosh. All right, we need one more person. Oops. It really is too bad there's no cross-platform. Hopefully I won't fight so sloppy this time. Ariandel looks like a Corvian. He is a Corvian. He's like in the the elder Corvian. So it looks like looks like we'll just have to do the duels. So we'll do a couple more duels, and then we gotta go to Arch Dragon Peak. Talk about that, please. What are Corvians? Corvians are the crow people. Alright, so we'll go back to duel. So bad you can't do a three person brawl. Yeah, well they're not from the Road of Sacrifices. They were displaced to there. They're from one of a succession of painted worlds. Brindle sand. Yeah. R one, R one, R one. Oh, that's still not though. GG, Brendelson. Oh yeah, I like your Storm Curve Sword, by the way. It's uh, probably my favorite weapon right now. Because I finally figured out that I was only pressing L2, but you need to press R2 after L2 to actually finish that attack. I didn't know that, and <laughs> now I know that, so I love the weapon. DLC also mentions Frida experiencing great sorrow, and Yuria does not think too highly of her either. Maybe she tried to become... I don't know if I'd say Yuria doesn't think highly of her, necessarily. Yeah, for me, I really enjoyed it, but I feel like it was just a tad short. But that it didn't quite wrap itself up. Um... But I think the reason for that might be that possibly the second DLC is, like, it's meant to be considered as a package with the second DLC. Alright, we're going to do one more uh, duel after this. And then uh, we're going to go to Earth Dragon Peak. Who's this? Brindelson again. Oh, that was a weird hit.
Oh. Shouldn't have used that there. GG. What is the relationship with Mira, Hodric, and the Sunless Realms? Who do you think Gale could be? Hello, I am Bertonator. I think Gale is Gale. Um, he's a slave knight. I don't know how much more there is to it than that. Like, I know there's more to it, but because he's obviously the 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 uncle of the painter, or or I suppose it's not not. It's possible that it could be more like uncle as, uh, you know, title of respect and not necessarily like biological uncle. That kind of makes it worse considering how short it was. Great experience, cool lore, but if we can only expect something of similar length that ends the game cycles really quickly. The game's, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's so much about cycle, but... Because I, I, I'm still getting a lot of a lot out of the game, but then again, I had to basically stop playing it shortly after its release in order to uh, work on other things. Marshmallow. Shouldn't have traded there. Oh, I did it again. The reach on that, eh? <laughs> GG, wow, well done. That's Dunlock. Yeah, she definitely could be a failed hollow lord. Alright. We'll we'll do that again sometime, but next time we'll actually like schedule it so that um, we have more people and we can do the brawls and stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. In some South Asian cultures, it's very common too to refer to just people in the family or friends who are older uh, as uncle or aunt, auntie. Um, we're going to switch to Black Iron Bob. Good to see you, Ghostman on third. I hope you're doing well, friend. Feels like Dark Souls 3 core left so many interesting story threads hanging in the air that just one more DLC scares me that many answers will remain hidden. I don't know if the answers will so much remain hidden as they will purposely vague. Well, my build isn't really optimized for PvP either, but... That was the one I used, yeah, for the DLC playthrough as well. <laughs> the one that took over for Bam Bam after he, he gave up on life. Okay, Black Iron Bob. I may be the only Xbox One player here. Yeah, it's it's uh, interesting to me how, how much smaller the Xbox community is than the PS4 one. Dark Souls is always purposely... Yeah, it's their thing. It, it's perhaps a little bit more vague in this game than it was in prior ones, but... Um, so we need to go to... Great Belfry. I think that Miyazaki, yeah, like... I think he has an idea of everything, but that he... Because, you know, he said this in the, in the Bloodborne official guide, that he just won't... Um, yeah, but it was larger on PS3 as well than it was the 360, um, if I recall correctly. But yeah, that Miyazaki has an idea of the story in his head, but that he, he refuses to share it with anyone because he doesn't want anyone to, con to consider it canon. So... We're going to do 
the Hodrick questline. I'm very interested in talking about Hodrick. You can all drop signs if you want here too. I can put the password on. Um, but as long as you're okay with being summoned and then standing around while I talk about things. So I was originally going to keep this build, uh, the upgrade level, only like plus 8, but I got tired of not being able to take full advantage of actually having a strength build, so I'm just going to level this one up to 100, 120 or something like that. But we, yeah, we're, we're going to stick with the fat rolling because it's it's authentic. So I'm reasonably certain Black Iron Bob, or Black Iron Bob, Black Iron Tark is that he, uh... So these guys, I believe, are just called Serpent Men. I believe in Dark Souls 1 they were man serpents? I don't know if that means anything, and there's a bell ringing right now, I think. Is that's, uh, I'm gonna presume that's what's aggroing all these enemies. Wow, and so much of the area here is destructible. But no, no rolling. But no rolling is so incredibly slow. Yeah, bell ringing. Ooh, Titanite Chunk. Hello, MC Birchie. Welcome, I'm glad you can make it then, friend. Oh, friend, what are you doing? It's such fancy moves. <laughs> Very fancy moves. Much fancier than your Dark Souls 1 forebears. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm pretty sure when I started doing this build that I actually went and checked. That ain't good. So yeah, so that bell definitely aggroes them all. Oh, wow. Oh, them fat rolls. Them fat rolls. I need to clear these guys out before we summon Hodrick, because I want to watch what he does. Okay, we gotta separate these guys. Oh, I didn't mean to jump there! I did not mean to jump there. <laughs> He's like, okay, alright, he made it, I guess. He outsmarted us. Using his Vlihander, well, it's, it, the problem is that the Great Sword is so much bigger. And it's not, it's not a Black Iron Tarkus, um, cosplay. Black Iron Bob. If the Great Sword was the same as it was in, um, if the Great Sword was the same as it was in Dark Souls One, then yeah, I would have used that. But, but it's different. Where did they go? There we go. Okay. We just aggro the one, then we're all right.
Sharp Titan Shard. Oh, we got SS Fat one too. Oh, I switched to late there. Yeah, pretty much this entire area is destructible. That's really impressive. Oh no, Allison Red. It's a good thing it's not Allison Blue. Enjoyable to people. I, I I really don't get how that's enjoyable to people. Yep. Oh, after we spent all that time clearing out the gosh darn serpent men too. That was a real person. Yeah, that wasn't. Oh my god, that was pathetic. I'm sorry, that was pathetic. All right, we're going to take a break <laughs> for a few minutes. Oh, man. All right. Let's see what we got in terms of tunes. All right. So we'll be back in like five minutes.
Yeah, the, the, his armor set being in that different location is con was confusing to me as well. Willem's armor set, that is. We're just not going to ember up. We're just going to kill them all like this. Or try to, anyway. Someone may have dragged his body to the mine using some shortcut or magic. Yeah, um, that mine, in, uh, uh, I didn't catch that it was a mine. Did I miss something that, that is it just the environmental design? I guess I was mostly concerned about the enemies there more than anything else. Oh, it's okay, don't worry about the, the summons. Thank you, though, I appreciate it. Some <laughs> people were better at PvP. <laughs> Problem with this build, this also isn't. This also isn't a PvP build. We just lost like 80,000 souls too. Fudge. Alright, maybe we will summon people. <laughs> Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Alright. And we also have seeds. So I'm gonna pop. Should have popped a seed as soon as that person invaded. You died. I did indeed. Why is Rosaria related to Dark? Is that a rhetorical question? No, that's okay. It doesn't I don't need souls. So there's a developer message over here that says To travel the path of the dragon, do not ring the great bell. So presumably that means if you ring the bell Excuse me, can someone correct me on this if I'm wrong? That if you ring the bell, you won't be able to get the twinkling dragon torso stone? I've lost souls before, it doesn't matter to me. Souls is souls. You can't get too too caught up over it because there will always be more. Yeah, it's just uh, Rent King, one word. Nothing will remain once the bell is tolled. I, I don't really understand what that means. Nothing will remain once the bell is tolled. So... So there's no consequent. So why is that? Why did that developer message say to travel the path of the dragon? Do not ring the bell. Did you defeat the boss first? Souls are souls. <laughs> yeah, in that like there's there's a lot of them. So if you lose them, it's not really. I guess that is kind of. <laughs> Kind of tautological when you think about it. Souls is souls. I was hoping he would turtle. Those ones usually turtle. Turtle lizards. Nice. Well done. Oh shite. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't get congratulatory. Large side night shard, large side night shard. See so I can transfer those to my soul level one build. Oh, 
Oh, they, what are the odds they both breathe fire at the same time? I guess not that low. <laughs> No, Marshmallow! Well done, good teamwork. So, something I discovered the other day about the, the um, stone crystal lizards. What are they called? Not stone... Molten crystal lizard, I think? That if you kick them, they actually roll backwards. So hold on, let's see if I can show you here. If you kick them, they roll backwards. It's the cutest... No, 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 don't, don't hear it, don't hurt it, don't hurt it. <laughs> no, no, don't hurt it, don't hurt it. Oh, shite. No! Oh. <laughs> Those are some of, my fav some of my favorite enemies now. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, Dragon Chaser's Ashes. Uh, umbral Ash of the Fallen Warrior who chose the path of the dragons. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. Whatever it is, it is sure to grant strength to the most unrelenting warriors. Is that a specific sword? No, it's all good, Marshmallow. Is that a specific sword? I wonder if you'd be able to tell from the hilt. I'm going to try zooming in on that later. <laughs> Rift Lizard. Alright. So we don't want to go up there just yet. We want to go summon Hawkwood. And yeah, for those uh, wondering... If you weren't here earlier, I'm gonna be on the um, I'm gonna be on Bonfire Side chat talking about this area soon. So I wanted to yeah do some research on it because it'll be a long time obviously before we get there for Let's Talk Lore. So let's see what happens when we summon Hawkwood. Because the first time I summoned him, I just sort of walked away. I want to see exactly what he does. So he's showing us where to go. Or is he? Was he trying to lead us into the trap? What? That is so interesting. Is he just going to point at it and crystal out? No, he's showing us how to do it. That is fascinating. Wow. So does anyone have any thoughts on that? Because why would he help us if... Because he has the headstone. He has the twinkling headstone. Why would he help us? Why wouldn't he just get it for himself? Or, like, are they split across worlds? I don't have the faintest clue. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to leave comments as well, um, speaking to that, because... Yeah, again, I haven't the faintest clue. Stone imbued with the power of the everlasting dragons, offered to a towering dragon. This stone shows signs of nascent light. Gain the torso of a dragon and roar alongside an archdragon mirage. The transformation is irreversible until death. Yet true imitation will require a dragon head as well. So the normal one says... From ancient times, the path of the dragon worship was walked by warriors. It is said they envision Archdragon Peak in the depths of their meditation. And at times, they even hear the distant sound of the great bell at the peak. 
Uh, I did notice that Cedo Kara. You can only get the headstone and directs you so that he you can get the torso stone. Then he's able to take it from you. Yeah, but I so that that I got, but I don't understand why. Like, what is the reason? Why why is it split across our world and his world? It's implied that Hawkwood, following the path you did, gets the other stone when you fight him late. Yeah, yeah. So what happens? What happens after that? Does he? Said I'm pretty sure he also. Okay, so... <laughs> Marshmallow just checking out the landscape. Yeah, that is a good idea, actually. <laughs> because the only thing we can see, I think, is... Lothric? But maybe not from here. We can see Lothric and we can see Irithyll Dungeon. Because that's where we came from. Oh, there's the wyvern. We still haven't dealt with the wyvern either. Ancient wyvern. So that's the bell that we ring to summon... To, I think, raise from the dead. What's his face? Um, Nameless King. Because he's pretty much a corpse. Did you not notice there was a giant dragon on the mountain? Oh my god, I didn't! <laughs> what the fuck? How did I not see that? Wow, interesting. Holy moly. I was so I was so amused by you having the binoculars out, just how it looks seeing someone else do it, that yeah, I completely missed that. I'm blind. So this dragon is, like, enormous. So that must be the towering dragon it refers to here. Offer to a towering dragon. So that's a towering dragon, then. I noticed something. <laughs> I never noticed that. So, yeah. Cool. So that's the towering dragon. With the skybox, yeah, the the we don't see the eclipse, right? Yeah, I'm familiar with Dave Control Live. I haven't watched his videos in a long time, but Maybe they were separated from each other so as, so as to keep one person from obtaining both and having too much power. But that also begs the question as to who would have done that. That's that's an interesting interesting way of putting it. Um Because yeah, so separating them both. Oh, this is the Mammothim. Alright, let's go we'll fight the nameless king. Actually first first let's check out this this quote-unquote man serpent over here. I think it's so. You see, it has a whip. The bell is like the staff, and then it has like a walker. So it's interesting that yeah, wow. All right. So then, is this? I don't know if it's back in time as much as it is, um, as much as it is just in a Dreamlands-esque place? I need help for the Nameless King. Do you want to resummon or no? Yeah, sure. The Mammothim looking good with uh, so the dancers, gar... Uh, yeah. And the uh, Cirrus headpiece. I don't even know what it's called, but some mad fashion souls. Let's rest of the bonfire for a second. <laughs> you missed the most interesting thing is that they cast a holy version, yeah, yep, of Pursuers. Um, it has like a, a white sort of grayish 
tint around it, right? Which doesn't really... And and I presume that... Oh, the Mammothim peace out, I guess? <laughs> You're changing builds or something? Looks more gold, yeah. They really do need to do cross platform, that'd be awesome. And so presumably it uses like the bell the bell staff to cast that, right? Which is really weird because I don't know if we ever come across someone using dark magic who isn't somehow related to the abyss or to humanity. Needs to look into this yoga pose. <laughs> You're le levitating above the ground. <laughs> well done. Alright, so... When we ring the bell, so what I think is happening here... Um, and I'm interested in hearing other ideas about this, but... What I think is happening here is that... When you ring the bell, we're raising him from the dead. So, let's see. There's also an etching around the edges of the bell. So where does he come from? Um, the lotus pose has a lot of symbolism with meditation and altered states of mind, like the Arch Archdragon Peak might be. Well said. So I didn't know that that was a specific pose. It's called the lotus pose? Alright, here we go, friends. I don't know how many times we're going to do this, because we do want to go fight Hawkwood. Uh, but let's see if we can get it on the first shot. That would be off the hook. So he, he comes from the sky. Very much like a god. Oh, that was bad. That's not a lot of damage. To level up our strength. Although it could be the co-op. Adding extra health. My game always lags when he does that. Which is really frustrating. Oh crap! Nice! Nicely done, team. Hey, Koma. And dead sulfur. You notice this seems to be a tower very similar to the one in the painted world here in Earth Dragon Peak. You can see it very clearly in the bell ringing scene. I did not notice that, but thank you for pointing it out. So you see, look at his face. He's basically a corpse. 
So I think that when we rang the bell, we we raised him from the dead. <laughs> so badass, though. So metal. Oh crud, that's not a good start. Not a good start, friends. So this is going to be my first time facing this boss not fast rolling. So this should be interesting. And it's not going very well so far. <laughs> oh shite. I just have to... Oh, no mevitim rip! I was going to say I just have to maintain his aggro, but that obviously didn't work. Damn lightning damage. <laughs> I forgot what that move was. I thought it was an AoE. Wow, that did like no damage. Oh, shite. <sighs> Rip. Rip, Marshmallow. Thank you for your help, friend. That ain't good. Too early there. Much too early I rolled. Ah. Yeah, I've got a question. Why are some of the NPC human bosses so huge? Um, it's partly for gameplay reasons, because it's easier to be able to um, it's easier to telegraph their attacks. Um, which is why, you know, when you fight Sif, you can look at it for story reasons and gameplay reasons in that case as well. Okay, we're going to go fight Hawkwood before we return to Nameless King. That was a good attempt, but um, let's go fight Hawkwood first, and then we'll come back. Yeah, like Punch-Out, where the player character is really small and the boss is, is yeah, much larger. Um, but in terms of a boss like Sif, you could also say that, you know, eons have passed and it, the dog's just bigger now. But but it's also for gameplay reasons. So I guess you have to evaluate it on a case-by-case -case basis. That was, a good, uh, that was a good try, though. Perhaps the bell is similar to the bell that awakens... That's what I was thinking, Con Crash. Because, yeah, and, and as well as... When you start the um, Abyss Watchers boss fight, I don't think the Great Wolf is Sif. I don't know if there's any evidence for that whatsoever. But um, I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. Isn't Canon as kill Sif? What's that? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it's it's canonical that Sif would be dead because otherwise we wouldn't have uh, killed the four kings and linked the fire. So, yeah, good point. 
In my defense, my spells were kind of messed up. Well, you don't need to defend yourself. That was a good good attempt, I think, on everyone's part. Um, yeah, we just got unlucky. What the heck did we come? We need to talk to Andre. Oh, you've returned. I was hoping to see you. That crestfallen ass Hawkwood, he handed me this. He's changed a great deal since he left this place. Graven of face, he asked me to give it ye. Hawkwood sword grass. And now that that task is concluded, what would you have me smith today? Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> I will be as careful as I possibly can be, friend. So I think we're going to let Hawkwood kill us, because I want to see what happens. <laughs> Jesus, Andre, calm down. <laughs> um, so this is the normal one. A leaf signifying a duty fulfilled by the watchdogs of Farron, who stand beside the old wolf to, to ensure the serenity of those at rest. The pig's a swordgrass sword grass leaf, stained with dry blood. Long ago, the swordgrass leaf quietly identified members of the Undead Legion. In the, in the rotted forest rest the spirits of warriors past. Their acceptance of and gratitude towards their guardians is expressed eloquently by the humble leaf. And then Hawkwood Swordgrass reads, Bloodstained Swordgrass of Hawkwood, deserter of the Undead Legion. Traditionally, the Undead Legion of Farron sends the gravest of messages using Swordgrass. Come to the mausoleum in Farron. Only one can take the path of the ancient dragons. The path of ancient dragons. Um, I was thinking more along the lines of how in the first game, turning into a dragon person hybrid did not actually turn you into a true dragon, true dragon, so the Drake Blood Knights might respond to that by trying to kill actual dragons in order to use their blood to become true dragons themselves. Well put. Well put. Okay. Um, so let's head... Speaking of the Abyss Watchers, let's head to the Abyss Watchers boss room. There's no need to kill Sif. Remember, he, he re there is you do need to kill Sif, because uh, Sif is guarding the the ring that lets you traverse the abyss. If you don't kill Sif, you can't kill the four kings. If you don't kill the four kings, you can't open the kiln and kill Gwyn and link the fire. So Sif has to be dead. There's this element of the soul being the blood, so the idea that they drink the Drake blood to corrupt their humanity and become dragons is a strong possibility. Looking good. I don't think we've gotten a shield yet either. We should go grab a shield. So in Japanese, um, this was something that I remember. This was something that Yosaho translated. Something about the thing he says. So I think we're going to let him kill us, because I want to see what happens when he takes the the dragon, uh, Twinkling Dragon Torso Stone. Hawkwood. Okay, so we have... Win the duel. So in English he says, you are, more dra you are a dragon more dragon than I. Um, but in Japanese he says, if you are the one who become a dragon, it isn't bad at all. And so the note that Yosaho included is that in English his motivation is pretty vague, but in Japanese he has no regrets um, in losing to you, which is pretty cool because the other the the English translation makes it seem he's very well was me, you know, which is just basically crestfallen. Um, but I think he's actually more than crestfallen because yeah he he has respect for the fact that you beat him in a duel and he says, okay, sure, well, I guess you're more dragon than I am. Um, I concede. Actually, Aegon, you forgot about kiln glitch, Sif. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to glitch the kiln and put that in the lore. No, but time has come... Loathe me all your life. 
I shall take what makes you dragon. So actually, we're gonna let him kill us. We're gonna let him kill us. So I just want to see what happens. Loathe me all you like, but I am the true dragon. Yeah, let's see. Okay, there's no trap. Twinkling Dragon Torso Stone now belongs to the champion. So that's in so you just keep fighting him, eh? Until that is so interesting. Uh, there you are. This shall be no petty thing. As the true dragon, I shall take what is rightfully mine. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, uh, CEO Go Go Rack Go Ratch. That is a good way of putting it. But it, see, the thing is that, like, isn't he undead as well? I guess he he just goes hollow. That he's he's sort of fulfilled his purpose. That hyper armor, though. You are a dragon. More dragon than I. I've yet to figure out champions. I thought it was just being the guy ready to link the flame. I think it's. But that that was lowercase C, wasn't it? So I think that was just more of a general thing as opposed to a specific, you know, an actual title. Of champion. Sagorak, or at least that's how I pronounce it. Sagorak, okay, thank you. Uh, I might have to um, get you to remind me of that at some time. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but that's pretty appropriate. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay. Um, Stone imbued with the power of the everlasting dragons, a second of its kind, offered to a towering dragon. And so is this one the first of its kind? No, it doesn't say. Offered to a towering dragon. Gain the head of a dragon and emit breath alongside an arch dragon barrage. The transformation is irreversible until death. The illusion achieved was the first case of a human imitating the form of a dragon, and it revealed the smallness of human existence. The road to the old dragons is long and arduous, and only one can com and only one can complete the journey so so that must be why they're separated then hey ginja ninja um we're talking about our dragon peak for the most part um because yeah i'm going to be on a podcast so soon talking about it so i wanted to do some research so uh, that makes sense that they would split it across worlds. But the question is why ours and his? Um, I don't know. I do not know. Okay, so we're going to go back to the Great Belfry. I was referring to Gunder, who's connected to the champion of the match through the wolf having red eyes. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, I've I still not really figured out Gunder or the festivities that he was late for. So I'm not even sure what to even think about all that. Alright, so we got the Mimitim. We got Marshmallow. How would you split it across worlds as well? Does someone travel between worlds to divide them? Yeah, see, that's that's uh, the thing. It's, it's difficult to even tease out that it's almost like a DLC situation. Like, there are two in the sense that each two 
ashen ones who enter like th that were entered in pairs because there's a huge emphasis on pairs in the rest of the game pairs and twins and um what i've taken to call in volatile couplets that would also imply that it's a unique item that isn't replicated in different worlds histories it's so yeah there's so many different layers to it that it hurts my head even thinking about it sometimes. <laughs> Gunder was simple in the main game. The stuff about the undead match has made him far more complicated. I hadn't even made that connection, actually. Thank you, the Mammothin. Sorry that I missed the first buff. <laughs> Where the heck even am I? Oh, I missed him. Oh, dang nabbit. was silly. Thank you, iframes, though. That was equally silly. No! I dodged that! That ain't good. Careful, Mammothin. Oh, that's bad. I got greedy. I got much too greedy there. And I'm about to pay for it. Oh. Nice! Yes! Good job, team. <laughs> well done, everyone. Black Arm Bob Blue, what's happening here? I don't get it. Have I te kept in touch with Redgrave? Uh, yes. Not regular contact, but um, he's going to be on one of the DLC episodes for Dark Souls 3 and Let's Talk Lore. Poor name is King, always getting ganked. That's good. That fight is going to be a nightmare in the Soul Level 1 playthrough. An absolute nightmare. <laughs> Okay, so now we warp basically over to the other side of a gate. I keep this on. Thank you, friends. I love how it makes the phantoms wait through the loading screen. Oh, someone dropped an item. <laughs> Thank you, uh, the Mammothim. I think that was the Mammothim. I will certainly take that. Wow. You you and your trading. It's very kind of you. Glad to hear you uh glad to hear like him on your Bloodborne playthrough as well. Yeah, I try to get as many people on as possible. Um but yeah, guest guest appearances add a lot of extra work, so that makes it difficult. Uh you can expect that Booker DeWitt 
tomorrow at some point. The next one's rendering. It's been rendering for 12 and a half hours, and it's got five and a half hours to go. So um, I'll start uploading that tomorrow, and it'll either be up Thursday night or Friday morning at some point. Thank you, the Mammothim, again, kindly. Um, so this place is, what is this place supposed to be? Like before this place got, you know, fell, fell to such ruin. So these, uh, I presume, are for incense? real chance of the stream. And there's no corpse here. Which is very interesting. And I know there's an idea out there that Ornstein turned into turned into the dragon I guess maybe I don't I don't really like it but incense would imply some sort of holy or religious location well it's it's kind of it's a shrine right it's it's these people are venerating dragons um golden lion armor associated with the dragon with dragon sir Ornstein from the age of, from the age of gods and imbued with the strength of lightning in the dragonless age this knight who long ago guarded the ruined chapel or ruined cathedral left the land in search of the nameless king so in left the land in search of the nameless king so it doesn't say whether he was he was search I guess if it was a hostile thing, he w it would probably say. It would probably say went to hunt the nameless king. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, and what's more is that you also find the the spear here, but I, as I discovered the other day, you can actually pick it up through the fence here. <laughs> you do have great fashion souls, yeah. Okay, let's go look at the... We'll go look at the serpent... The bell summoner person. So yeah, you can see it's got, yeah, like a yellow halo around it. Or like a gold halo that you don't normally see. A whip in the right hand. And I want to see if they use the... If they use the staff... To summon the um, pursuers. A very strange mask on, too. Stop whipping me! Ring your... Do your magic spells! And we gotta stand farther away. Yeah, it's definitely with the staff. Definitely with the staff. And though that looks like... Does that even make sense as a bell, though? Is that is that in fact a bell at the top of the staff? Like, can you, can you have an oper operational bell that's upside down like that? Let's kill... Let's kill this guy, and then... Or try, anyway. And then see if we can catch it ringing the bell. Okay, let's... We should get closer to her. Or him. Keep calling... <laughs> assuming that that serpent is a woman because of the bell ringing women in Bloodborne. You and your f gosh darn infinite stamina, mister. Die. Okay. Yep. 
Yep, it is the staff. It is the staff. That is such a weird... Thank you, uh, Malak Discord. Nameless Taunt Ornstein. Pretty sure that's confirmed. Oh, I forgot about you! Alright, so we're going to take another break, and then we're going to go... This has been very interesting, and you've all given me <laughs> something to think about. we got to grab those souls. 89,000 souls. Um, and yeah, well, we're going to try and speed run a little bit through the cathedral, and see if we can defeat the Deacons of the Deep. Okay, uh, official GD Rose, thank you for joining us. It's been a pleasure. And we want to go there. <laughs> From some predicted the future. All right. Be right back.
yeah, we we took a little break to explore our Dragon Peak. Um, we're actually in Cathedral of the Deep in the SL1 run. But I just wanted to grab my souls here. Oh, I don't have any Homer bones? What is this? Yeah, that, this was the casual Lord chat part. And now we're going back to the Soul Level 1 run. Although, excuse me, doesn't preclude us having casual Lord chat while we're doing that, though. Excuse me. Hello, by the way, Yoshai. Man, Neo and For Honor came out, come out in February. So hyped! I don't know what either of those games are. So <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. That guy patches is looking good. I hope you're doing well, friend. You're shy, and then I'm saying your name right. I don't know if it's me, but I feel like the, the DLC patch made the loading screen so much longer. Shosh, friend! We're, we're going to go to the DLC later, I promise. Um, so we need to go get the Bone Ash. That's where we left off, Bone Ash. Yeah, the Hable thing... I don't really get. I have not done a permadeath run. Still have to try and complete one in Bloodborne. I want to do that at some point. I always go the wrong way here. Let me see if I can actually get through this without going the wrong way for once. Stop it! Let me through. The Havel thing, to me, ties into the primordial nature of the world. What do you mean by that? Because there's obviously some sort of connection between... Like, why is... Why did we find the armor in a completely different location? That's, that's what I'm not understanding about the Havel thing. Guys, are you ready for this? We've already opened up the shortcut, I just realized that. That was close. Oh, that was really close. Are you ready, everyone? I help any time. I help any time. I help any time. Yeah, it's the best friend of all the friends. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. I help any time. That's too bad. I say this pretty much any time I try to imitate voices. Too bad JSF's not here because he's the best at imitating voice actors. And he will also help us in... Fair and Keep. The lower Fair and Keep. The lower Swamp. It's just the blacksmith. Which blacksmith from Dark Souls 1? The, the giant blacksmith? I suppose that makes sense. And it, did the giant blacksmith, is that the same person who played um, Go? Hawkeye Go? Yeah, cause, cause, so you get the Havel Ring for trading in the soul of the stray demon. 
And then you find the armor there as well. So suggesting... Was this person like... Oh, that's so creepy. You can see it like pulsating. Oh, you don't have to kill the giant archer. Like, the archer has to die. But you don't have to kill him. You can just get all the, the um, white branches. So this one doesn't seem to be... So the first time I've gotten a real close look at this, like that is so... Hold on, let's see if we can get like a family portrait. <laughs> For the thumbnail maybe? Yeah, let's let's uh well, let's get that out of the way and pop that off. <laughs> like a family portrait guys, what do you think? I like it a lot. Alright. Let us what is that one? Oh my god. That is too scared to even look at. What about this one? <laughs> I like that one even better, I think. You have such a beautiful Dark Souls 3 family. Some could say one only a mother could love. Yeah, pretty much. Like, oh, that is so... Yeah, so this enemy is definitely, like, glitched out for some reason. Whoa! Friend! I thought, wait, what? This is heavier than the one I had on? I guess so. I thought we were friends. Okay, where's I help anytime? I need your help. Oh, did he miss? Yeah, he missed. And he missed again. So there's the tower right there. What, are you inv You invulnerable? There we go. I help anytime. I help. Oh, rip. Yeah. I don't think it's going to work out between us. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the help. I help anytime. I help anytime. <laughs> that sounded more like a character from Sesame Street than anything else. All right. Um... Let's go back and treat in the undead bone shard, and then we're gonna pull, and then you pull off the. Guy. Then you pull it off the guy you get the Path of the Dragon gesture from. 